All right, I'm going to make another little video here on this uh, photo op, this little psyop thing that Trump's doing. He's a big, bold Donald Trump. You know, he's a Christian man. He's going to hold up the Bible here. I'll mute it. But uh, he holds up the Bible, you know. Oh, look at him. Taking a bold stand. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold up the Bible and everything. And, and uh, uh, knucklehead here. Robert Breaker, President Trump holds up the Bible and he's saying this is great and everything else. And um, down here he says, I'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to read the comments. Some will assume I'm pro Trump, others will assume I'm anti Trump. But the truth is, I'm just pro Bible and pro gospel. <laughs> right. And it's great he held up a Bible, but it's said, sad he didn't open it and read a verse or two. Um, you know, and they say, Is that your Bible? You know, and he answers, It's a Bible. Why did she ask? Is it his own personal Bible? I think the reason is that Trump's personal Bible has some incredible history to it as it was passed down to him. Uh, please see this video, blah, 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 whatever there. Breaker has no discernment at all. Do a little bit more research there, Breaker, okay? Here's the picture, okay, the New Yorker. You zoom in real close. Uh-oh, revised standard version. He's holding up a Catholic Bible. Hmm. And um, by the way, earlier on here in this whole deal, uh, Trump and the uh, and his first harlot there, they go walking up and they they uh, pay homage to this uh, statue of Pope John Paul II. Somehow Breaker missed that point, you know, just, and a lot of these other Trump supporters, these other, you know, Trump worshipers, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll go to the thing of Trump holding up the Bible, you know, posing with the Bible, but they missed the, the thing of him and his, and his harlot there going and standing before the, the Pope, statue of the Pope, kind of missed that one there, but there you have revised standard version. You say, well, it's just maybe he just didn't, you know, know any better or whatever. And things, yeah, well, here's one in uh, 2016, January 30th of 2016. And I don't know if you can see it or not right there, but it says Revised Standard Version. Again, holding up the Holy Bible, Revised Standard Version. And there's some kind of a, a thing here, I guess. Mute it. Christian Values. Speaking in tongues. Okay. Ah, they won't let me pause it. Try it again here. Ah. Revised standard version. You can see it right there. Okay. So, <laughs> you know. Oh yeah, he's he's. He's you know doing this great thing here. Yeah, revised standard version. He's not even holding up the King James Bible. So just thought I'd do a quick little video on this thing, just to you know, people. Oh, we got some kind of hope now for America because Trump held the Bible up in front of a big you know Episcopalian church here in America that got taken out by rioters and protesters. Yeah, we're going to come back to the Bible or something, I guess, you know, like this. And I, 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 I love these signs I'm seeing around, you know, people flying these flags, Trump 2020, keep America great. <laughs> keep America great. <laughs> this, this country so finished, you know, whatever. It's just insanity. What people, you know, led to believe. Whatever. Uh, brother sent me uh, this article too. I'm not going to show it, but he talked about that Trump said that he's, you know, the best president for the Catholic Church, you know, in in American history. Well, yeah, he is, because he's a Jesuit, and so many people around him are are Jesuit trained as well. So, just stand and fight, brethren. Don't back down. Um, the Lord's on our side. Okay, be strong. Have a good courage. Um, don't give in to these wicked devils. You can't. If it means your death, if it means my death, well, okay. Go home to be with the Lord that much quicker. Fine. Um, but don't back down. Okay? That's going to be it. Thank you for watching.